When we talk about who should be involved with melanoma research, the um, answer is humankind. <laughs> if you have skin, you should be involved with melanoma research. This disease doesn't really care what your nationality is. It doesn't care what your gender is. It doesn't care what your race is. It's the one skin cancer we worry the most about because of all skin cancers, it accounts for about 70% of all skin cancer deaths. This disease has taken a lot of people. This cancer is, is not going to go away. We need to find a cure. I had gone for a mole removal, um, a, a mole that I had been ignoring. I just was too busy. I was trying to run a business. We had kids. Had it finally removed, and then you wait. I got a call, and it was melanoma. I remember looking at Karen Hirsch and just bursting into tears. I have a background in the healthcare field, so I was not only a friend, but also a person who knew the language of healthcare and helped her do some research. I know that there's a hereditary component to this, and my kids are in danger. So with whatever life I have left, this is what I will do. If a young husband or a young mom or someone's grandfather is diagnosed with melanoma, I don't know how, but they find their way to Susan Steele. I'm dealing with patients who are fighting for their lives and they're looking for clinical trials that might keep them alive. That's when we knew that we needed to support the development of a national melanoma tissue bank. The concept of the tissue banks started with respect to cancer about 50 years ago at Sloan Kettering with nurses that saw all these women come in with breast cancer and they said, there's different kinds of reactions, there's different types of cure rates. Let's get samples and study them. When we talk to the experts that say fresh frozen tissue is what we need, I believe them. By having a large collection of samples of individual tumors and being able to link that to actual patient data, age, race, sex, sun exposure, what we hope to be able to do is to allow investigators a ready source of material to which to conduct the appropriate scientific tests that might lead to a cure for this disease. The goal of a national melanoma tissue bank is to get the diversity of samples across a country and get a number of them so that the research can be done. Things they're finding out in melanoma will benefit other cancer research endeavors. Breast cancer, prostate cancer, multiple myeloma, other diseases that have taken lives will benefit from melanoma research. Opening the National Melanoma Tissue Bank is going to be a reality. Well, the first branch is going to open in Pittsburgh in the first quarter of 2015. Our goal is to get Chicago, Portland, and San Francisco to open in rapid succession. If you take one institution they're limited by number, how many samples are they really going to be able to acquire, and they're limited by diversity. We know we're gonna change the landscape of melanoma research as we know it today, when all four institutions are working together in an open collaboration. The next step in, in all this, obviously, is securing the funding. Our biggest expense in investment is in the bioinformatics. That will enable Pittsburgh to talk to San Francisco, Chicago to talk to Portland, and all those connectivities. The protocols are there, the science is there, uh, the space is there. The overarching message is hope. We want to invite everybody to the party and get them the resources they need to do the best research possible. And then we want to share it all over the world. There's a genetic code that needs to be broken to stop the spread of cancer in our lifetime. And it's completely doable. I'm Susan Noyes, founder of Make It Better, and we are just delighted that Skin of Steel won our 2014 Philanthropy Award for Most Improved Fundraising. The nonprofit founded in Miracle Woman Susan Steele's honor has done tremendous work to raise melanoma awareness and improve patient advocacy. Most importantly though, Skin of Steel is at the heart of a pressing mission to open a national melanoma tissue bank which will expedite research and encourage unprecedented collaboration in cancer science.